As many people know, many of the weapons of the early Chinese army were modeled after the equipment of the Soviet Union's Big Brother, but little is known is that in the 80s China and the United States honeymoon period, China's military industry enterprises have also been the United States of America's assistance in various aspects. What is more surprising is that, in the United States and the Soviet Union equipment, China successfully imitated and pushed the new Soviet weapons countless. Many of China's active weapons, but also more or less left, Soviet, traces of the U.S. Equipment successfully imitated is extremely rare and uncommon. So, what led to this situation? Why is it easy to imitate the Soviet system, but difficult to imitate the U.S. system? Is it because the U.S. weapons development technology is higher? It must be said that there is indeed a reason for this. The Soviet Union has long been adhering to the group, scale and violent aesthetics of military development ideas. In the development of weapons, the Soviet Union also emphasized the quantitative advantage to make up for the quality gap, the pursuit of a short period of time in a large-scale installation of troops in order to form a strong military deterrent. Therefore, the Soviet Union weapons in the design tend to pay more attention to the overall performance of the balanced and simplified manufacturing process in order to rapid production and deployment. On the contrary, the United States. The United States military development ideas are more focused on technological leadership, information technology and systematic warfare. They also pursue extreme performance and advanced technology in weapons research and development, striving to outperform their rivals in every key indicator, with advanced and complex design concepts, and extremely high requirements for manufacturing processes, materials science and electronic information technology. This not to mention heavy equipment such as tanks and artillery, even the inconspicuous existence of rifles, can be the different ideas between the two countries are reflected. For example, during the Vietnam War, the two famous guns M16 and a K47, the U.S. military thinking emphasizes the ability of single combatants, requiring soldiers to hit the target on the battlefield accurately, to minimize the cost of obtaining the maximum results of the war. Therefore, the M16 was designed to improve shooting accuracy as an important goal. It adopts the air guide automatic principle, which is more compact and lighter in weight than the AK-47, helping to enhance weapon mobility. At the same time, the M16 uses a lot of lightweight materials to further reduce the weight of the gun, making it easier for soldiers to carry and operate. The AK-47, on the other hand, because of the Soviet Union's focus on mass combat military strategy, was designed with the complexity of the battlefield environment in mind, and has a simple and sturdy structure, with a small number of parts and large gaps between the various components, which can effectively resist the intrusion of dust, mud, and dirt. Even after a long time of use and lack of timely maintenance, the AK-47 can still maintain a high degree of reliability, ensuring that soldiers can shoot properly at critical moments. As a result of such weapons development ideas, later, just a small workshop in Pakistan, are able to mass production of a K-47, individual skilled craftsmen even able to manufacture not lose to the regular manufacturers of the original product. On the contrary, the M16 on the black market, if not from the regular army and arsenal out of the licensed goods, most of the DIY equipment performance, it is difficult to compare with the regular M16. The gap between the two can be seen in just one rifle, and it is even more pronounced when it comes to tanks, artillery shells, and other areas. For example, tanks, in order to realize the possibility of large-scale troops, Soviet engineers and the tank hull structure using a relatively simple and direct design, although the fuel economy and some details of the performance may be lacking, but in the structure of a solid, easy to produce and maintain. Chinese military enterprises and the early exposure to this type of equipment, due to their own relatively weak industrial base, limited technical level, the Soviet Union's weapons focus on the overall performance and relatively simple structure of the concept coincided with the actual needs of China's military development at that time. Therefore, Chinese engineers were able to easily understand the working principle and master the manufacturing process and then copy and improve them. For example, the Type 59 medium tank and Type 62 light tank, which were copied by China in the early days, were developed on the basis of the Soviet T-54A. It is worth noting, however, 
that the aforementioned claims that Soviet weapons are easier to manufacture and American weapons are more sophisticated are really just based on stereotypes of common weapons. At this level of advanced weapons, Soviet weapons were also extremely refined. The Soviet Union's Su-27 fighter, Kilo-class aircraft carriers and Hyundai-class destroyers into China after the entry of these weapons, these weapons of the new design, and integration of the leading aspects of the Chinese had shocked China. It is important to realize that at that time, China was already in the period of reform and opening up, and the Chinese military basically sends people to the West every year to study and exchange, and is by no means unfamiliar with American-made equipment. That is to say, the Soviet high-end weapons, and American weapons are equally new and difficult to imitate. The previous reasons can explain part of the phenomenon, but there are still many shortcomings. China can copy the Soviet weapons, not just because the Soviet weapons itself is easier to copy so simple, then, what is the specific reason? Perhaps it is necessary to start with the Chinese industrial system. New China's industrial system has been deeply influenced by the Soviet Union, especially during the Sino-Soviet friendship, but also a large number of Soviet experts to China, all round deep-seated shaping of China's industrial infrastructure and mode of operation. Therefore, the Soviet system equipment after entering China, China has a way to the Soviet Union's weapons reverse research, but the United States equipment, due to the different production lines, but also increase the difficulty of Chinese research. In addition, during the period of Sino-Soviet friendship, China belonged to the same socialist camp, and the Soviet Union provided a great deal of assistance to China. Although China and the United States in the honeymoon period had exchanges, but the two countries have different systems, the United States of China has always been wary of the United States to China to provide arms exports and assistance are mostly castrated, which undoubtedly increased the difficulty of China to copy the U.S. weapons. So China can more easily produce imitation of Soviet weapons. In fact, there are a variety of complex reasons cannot be simply attributed to the Soviet Union's weapons structure is simpler and easier to copy, while the U.S. weapons are more difficult. 